Here's Jed Lowry now. He'll lead it off against Lance McCullers. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. Case in point right there, Matty. We're seeing a trend, the north and south. A lot of pitchers working that elevated fastball and then breaking stuff off in the dirt. We used to see east west, not the case anymore. A shortstop behind with a 1 and 2 count. He tried to climb the ladder right there, and I don't blame him. Now he's got those sights elevated. Don't be surprised with something off speed in the dirt. The one two. Right side. And that is through into right field for a single. Hey that was eight straight up until that base hit right there. Let's see if the offense gets something rolling now. Designated hitter. Willie In now, Willie McCovey, as he'll take a look at a high strike here on the outside corner. It's 0-1. These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another while you get a W or a loss right here. Lead-off man on, heart of the order coming up. Guy out on the mound has got his work cut out for him. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at 1-1. One and, one. and the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman holding the runner on it's always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you the one one home is looked at for ball number two the two one this is hit the other way out toward left field. Gonzalez has it in his tracks. One out. So striding forward now, Orlando Cepeda. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Hey, that's got to throw the batter's game plan off a little bit. He thinks sinker's coming. Double play situation. He gets the ordinary fastball. He's got to be thinking what's coming next. Comes set with the 0-1. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Now the 1-1 one and one pitch. Grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gonzalez is there. And he brings it in on the warning track. Now batting, catcher, Mike Piazza. That was textbook outfield technique right there. So take notes, kids. He knew right where he was, and he does a great job of feeling for the wall while keeping his eyes on the ball. That's how you do it, and he makes the catch. Standing in now, Mike Piazza, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Hard liner to center field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Lowry rounds third and is digging for the plate. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. 
So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Into the box now, Reggie Jackson. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And a great change of pace has him off balance, a swing and a miss. This is the stuff that infuriates a manager. You have to think the game. You got to know he's trying to pitch around you. You cannot swing at that pitch out of the zone. Ready with the one and one. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. And here's a fastball taken too low, and he works the count to three and one. Josh Donaldson would be next. The three one it is swung on and missed and that's a full count now three balls and two strikes. Oh wow that's what they call a jam sandwich. Wow not much you can do with that pitch that's in tight. Working for the punch out and the offering. And it goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Gonzalez has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. But the A's get a run on this RBI double. We played four, and this is now a two to one ball game. Riding in once again, Jake Marisnik. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball. Ball one. Now the one and one pitch misses for the second ball. Shot toward right center and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Outside of home runs nothing fires me up more than watching a good baseball player drive the ball at the opposite field talking about hitting the inside half of the baseball that's exactly what happened right there and when we say inside half of the baseball imagine the ball coming to a complete stop halfway between home plate and the pitcher's mound and then cutting that baseball in half and highlighting the inside half that's where you're trying to take the knob of your bat or the hands to that spot and carved the inside half of the baseball with power. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Now a snap throw to first. And a dive, but he's back in. And another snap throw to the bag, keeping particularly close tabs on him. And again, he'll snap one over to first, being especially careful here. Here's the 0 1 pitch. In there, now the throw. Oh, and the throw's wide as it gets by him at second. Oh, and he throws it away. And now this ball's going to wind up out of play. And that'll compound matters even further. Well, that's the difference between a harmless error and a costly one. With the bases empty, it doesn't hurt that much. But with a man on, that allows a run to score. 
trying to send him packing for the second time. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Pace is empty here with nobody out. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to 2 and 2. Popped him up. Cepeda is there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. The batter, number one. George. Here's Carlos Correa now. Correa. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball one. One ball. No strike. Hit in the air out to right. Jackson sprinting after it. And that's the second out of the inning. The left fielder, number nine, Marwin. Digging in the switch hitter, Marwin Gonzalez, who struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. First pitch fastball in on the fists for ball one. That's by him for strike one. Hey, as a former infielder, nothing hurts your heart more than making errors behind your pitchers. Let's see if this guy can pick him up right here. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball in two strikes. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. So one run on one hit, two costly errors, and no one left on base. Last half of the fifth coming up, it's the Astros three and the A's one.